All right, YouTube, what we're doing today is we're going to take a long Speedo out of a G-Body. Um, I am a, I have a 1978 El Camino, and we're going to change the stock one into one that has an Teletronics uh, 6 gauge cluster. Like that. I've already have the green ones installed, but the uh, top two um, LED bars are out. So they're gonna send me some new ones after I return these, um, some blue ones. But while I'm doing it, I've got an extra set of red ones I can go ahead and install and show the process on how to do it on a G body. And lighting may be a little hard to see at times. I am in my uh, storage unit while I'm doing this. so. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get everything started. First thing is disconnect the battery, and then um, I'm going to pull the steering wheel off, and then from there I'll, I'll cut you back on and start just you know taking the the bezel and all that good stuff out. All right, so I got the steering wheel off, and the only reason I do the steering wheel taking the steering wheel off is because I think it's easier to take the the bezel out. Um, Batteries disconnected, key in the on position, got the shifter all the way down, got the emergency brake on. So I got my light up here. I'm not sure if it's gonna glare it or not. I'll try to keep an eye on that. So first step is to take the screws out for the outside bezel. The it, on mine, they're separate. I think on um, 82 or 83 and up, you got both of them here, I believe. Um, on mine I can slowly maneuver it over the uh, headlight switch and on the exterior you're gonna have one here one there you have some underneath you're gonna have one two three up top I use a just a screwdriver uh, I don't use a powered screwdriver just because I don't want to strip anything out And I do have a magnetic tip screwdriver. <clears throat> it's never good when you drop one. Typically the shorter screws go up top. Mine can be like that because none of these screws match. They're all different. I guess the previous owner. So I just put a rag there because I have the steering column painted as well and I don't want to scratch it up so what I'm doing on this end is I pull the headlight switch out so I can get this to come out a little bit and then I'm gonna push it through kind of hard to do this with one hand I'm gonna put you back on the pod but you just pull it all the way out that way you have more room to work with this and once you get it far enough out you can use both your hands and uh, push the light switch back in so you don't break anything five and there should be another one here I lost it I guess last time I did this so you're gonna have ten little hex heads or not hex heads little bolts I'm using a quarter inch
take the bottoms out first. Here's the uh, dust cover. Make sure you place that somewhere with rag or on your seat so you don't scratch it up. There's a better look. This is the uh, Home Depot glass, uh, place glass I bought. I think it's called, they call it bronze uh, that I cut to size. So you can see the gauges through here. Uh, if I had the battery hooked up, I'd show you. It'd be very blurry. But um, I've got a GPS, IntelliTronics Intel GPS speedometer here. Um, that way you don't have to hook it up to your transmission. And I've got all my wires hooked up into this cubby hole down here to the right. And here's my little fix. I broke my headlight switch a while back. And take these out, you're going to have three. One, two, three. You'll be able to remove your, you got two screws for your windshield wiper uh, to remove the headlight switch and windshield wiper connector. The headlight switch, if you've never taken one out, there is a button somewhere that you, you press it in on the actual switch. And then that'll, that'll allow you to pull the, the actual headlight switch piece out. Let me take the uh, windshield wiper piece off and see what's behind there. Alright, on the headlight or the windshield wiper, the connector you just push it in, pull it out. I put the two screws back into the actual casing for it. And going to be difficult to see but there's this little lever right here you push that lever in and you pull the headlight switch out if you hold that lever in it'll just slide right out and the uh, pull it out and this is what I was talking about if for any reason you can't get your bezel off um, over your headlight switch on the right you get this little button right here you hold it in you pull this you pull it out and it come, comes right out and you get it in you just slide it back in and You just gotta play with it so it's back in. And if you ever break your your bracket or mounting plate, basically I just put a lot of uh, JB Weld. Uh, this is a piece of plastic from uh, maybe a bottle cap or something I can't remember, but uh, basically I cut it out to where what I needed and cleaned it up real good with some alcohol and then. Uh, just put the JB weld on there both sides and just taped it on still a little flexible same thing on the other side over here in this bracket I, uh, I used some JB weld at the end and then once I had it where I wanted it let it dry let it set up for several hours I uh, just drilled the, the holes that, to mount it I got my headlight you know my uh, windshield wiper screws back in here so I don't lose them and put this to the side so just a little tip if you ever if you ever break yours you can always put it back on so this piece now should come out 
<clears throat> and the way I have mine, and I'm going to cut all these wire ties, but I have all mine connected through uh, Quick Connects. Uh, when I pull it out, I'll show you. Um, I wasn't thinking about this situation in particular as why I did it, but I figured if I ever have to take it out, it'd be easier to have to splice and reconnect them uh, via solder. So, um, actually, let me do that first. Let me get my wire, my dikes, your wire cutters, and take all these out. I've got everything labeled. All right, so just start taking everything off. I want to say there's, I think, 12 wires. There's uh, guide pieces here to help you line it up. So make sure when you're pulling it out, you don't crack anything. Put my towel back so I don't scratch up my steering column. I have to repaint it. Just to show y'all real quick what we got going on back here is I'm holding I'm trying to hold the light with one hand and do this with the other so I might really have a pointer finger. So I've got my GPS speedo here. Um, Got all my wires ran in between the steering column and the bezel. I've got a uh, jumper over here for the yellow wire, and that goes over to the uh, the dim. So when you cut your headlights on, it dims your your LED display. The bezel is going to have one, two, three, four. I believe six um, ten millimeter bolts take out so let me go ahead and pull that out I don't need to do it on this um, just to switch the gauges but I want to show you how to do the full install this is the uh, speedometer cable back here I've got it uh, taped up because I'm not using it with the, the GPS one uh, so let me go ahead and pull this bezel piece off Doing a quick look behind after you take the housing off. Um, again, this is the uh, jumper for the yellow wire on this side. Again, this is all for 78 El Camino. If you have, uh, you know, look up the uh, diagrams on your car just to make sure you're, you know, you get the correct ones. Um, I had pulled this off of, I want to say MalibuRacing.com. Um, 
and I'll put a link to their their site and give them the credit. Um, but this is how I got the my wiring diagram. So I uh, jumped the yellow uh, for my dimmer, and then on this side, the I'm not using this anymore any longer just because um, I tore out my circuit board on the back. Um, so the plug on the back of here is on the back of the, I don't know if you can see it with the light, but there's a hole right there for the plug on the back of the housing that would just, you know, slide right in there. So again, if you're going to want to reuse any of this, you know, be cautious on how you take it out. So I jumped all my wires off this. You can, um, you can pull this through and actually it's supposed to sit like this here this far out but because I'm not using it I just push these little tabs in on either side and just push it all the way through the back and then you can vice versa and pull it out to the front and that's what I did whenever I pulled a, when I jumped on my wires um, I did initially the first time went off the wires from the steering column I pulled the uh, pieces Sorry, pulled everything out from underneath and installed it that way, and it just wouldn't work correctly. So that's why I jumped everything off this um, this uh, connector here. Um, and again, I'm not going to go into which wires are which. Um, you, you know, every every couple years they may change the the different the the wire numbers or format. Um, like for example, I've got the long speedo. If you have the round gauge speedos, the uh, sport super sport cluster. These are different. These pins are going to be different, and you're going to have to go in there and figure out which ones are which. And I just use some um, just little basic jumpers to uh, oh, my battery's about to die to uh, jump it over, and that's about it. So that's how you take all this apart. Um, next step is going to be cleaning up the. You know, if you're going to paint it, um, I'm going to use the old housing. Uh, clean it up, paint it. Um, make the cuts, um, do all the fabrication as far as on the metal piece, and we'll go from there. Thanks. All right, guys. So where we're at now is we got the cluster out, um, and this is where, if you wanted to paint and all that good stuff, which I'm, I am going to paint this with some duplo color vinyl fabric, red and black. So this is your dust cover. This is the metal piece that has not been cut up yet. And this is the actual housing. Um, there is a screw back here to take this off. And these are the what I was telling you before. On the one I have in the car now, I took my Dremel, cut the pieces out to make it easier to install. This one still has all the interior lights. This is where the um, um, fuel and, and whatever you have will sit in there then the, the long speedo would have been here this is what I was talking about in the car is you your circuit board or circuit panel here all these little just your lights um, if you wanted to save any of this stuff you would want to be cautious on how you take this apart on my oh the one I just literally just ripped it in half all this circuit board and I didn't keep any of the bolts again I'm not planning on putting any of this back in on this this actual bezel here that I'm doing um, I may just turn around turn, turn around and sell this on eBay because uh, I'm not going to need it um, I was planning on buying another El Camino for kind of a racer but I'm not able to find one at a decent price. I've got a pretty much the entire interior for an El Camino to do, but I just can't find it at a good price. So I'm going to cut you off, cut you back on here in a minute. Uh, I'm going to take this piece off and we'll start cleaning it up, getting it ready for. Um, paint and we'll start getting this ready to to cut showing you where to cut it at how to cut it um, you gotta make sure this is all cleaned up real nice 
Alright guys, again, if you're trying to save all this stuff, just be careful how you take everything out. The uh, These little clamps here will go through the inside through the plastic and you just gotta get a pair of pliers, smush them down there and just push it through. Uh, the rest is pretty easy, just bolts. So, And I'll take this piece here off. And the way you take this off is I'm just using a uh, tool that you use for your doors to get behind the the door panels to pop them out. So you just slide it in there. Be careful because if you break it, you're gonna have to not to buy a new one, but you just have to work. And we're gonna get some JB Weld. Markings to make sure when you put it back in there, you put it back in there correctly. The bottom, it looks like the, the bottom piece will have this little tab so to keep it from going all the way in. I believe the top should have had one as well, but that keeps you turning and all that get, turn in and all that good stuff. So when we put it back in, we'll just make sure this bottom piece is back in there. And this will just help whenever you're painting, you don't have to worry about taping it off. And plus, this is a little faded, and we're not going to keep the I'm not going to keep the silver. So I'm just gonna put, you know, clean this up as well. Put a flat black coat on there. So I'm back. All right, guys. So I got everything pretty much cleaned up. Um, I'll just use some uh, simple green to get everything, all the dust, crap off it. So what I'm gonna do now is this uh, housing was painted before. And whenever I did the interior on my, my El Camino, it was all this crap. I don't know if it's oil based or what, but basically I just gotta get some goof off, get it back down to the original color. Um, so the adhesion promoter and the Dupacolor vinyl fabric paint will stick, stick on there. I don't want it to come off. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next. But other than that, um, I don't know if this is gonna show up or not, but. There's some little specks on the um, plexiglass cover, dust cover. So I've got a um, headlight restore that I'm going to try to put on there and see if that will take it off. I did it on my one that's in the uh, car now. So that's where I'm at now. Everything's cleaned up. I am going to use some goof off to get the old paint off. I am going to paint paint this the uh, flat black um, it's uh, just it's, you see it's a little shiny here then it goes dull so keep it all consistent paint it, paint it black the smooth parts and then the the rougher parts um, will be red like this will be red this will be red It'll be a, a strip of black through here all through here then the insides of this will be red and this will be red on your gear indicator this is very easy to, to wipe off so if you're planning to try to reuse your gear indicator um, piece you're gonna want to be real careful with this um, I don't I'm not gonna reuse it so I mean this is gonna be painted flat black but if you are going to be uh, trying to use it just be careful with that also whenever you I didn't show you it because I didn't have it on my car but whenever you go to take the uh, disassemble all this on your steering column there is going to be a um, a lever and that's your shifter indicator lever and it'll have the little little piece of thin wire that comes around and whenever you're in part reverse things will drive it'll go back and forth so uh, keep note if you are going to try to keep this um, on here um, and try to use it uh, keep note on how all that comes apart that way you can you know whenever you put it back together another note is you know these are 35 years old 
you just gotta be real careful. This is already cracked whenever I took it off, but this, you know, this, this plastic is real brittle. I'm sorry, uh, real brittle. Like this one's already cracked here. I don't know if you can see it or not. So just be real careful with it, how you handle it. Um, and I mean, if, it's, if it does crack, I mean, there, you don't have to go out and buy a whole new housing. You know, you can JB weld or, or something, you know, put it back together. Um, so, all right, so I just want to give you a quick update. I think everything cleaned off. So what I'm going to do now is um, use some goof off to get this paint off. And then once I get that cleaned off, I will come back and put you back on. And I'll go through the the degreaser, go through the adhesion promoter, the paint, and then the uh, clear coat.